Sam Drogi runs the USGS B-Lab, one of hundreds of science labs being shut down by Doge and the Trump administration. Sam and a small army of volunteers built the lab from recycled, scavenged, and donated materials that didn't cost taxpayers a dime. Despite its modest appearance, the Bee Lab is one of the world's most important labs studying bees, of which there are 20,000 species, 4,000 in North America alone. In addition to pollinating billions of dollars in crops critical to our nation's food supply, bees are also the foundation of vast ecosystems that support wildlife and purify our air and water. The field work goes on out here, and like the construction of the lab itself, volunteers perform much of the work. Some of these pens have been designed and are now run completely by community members. So these community folks come in, um, we provide the space and the water, they provide all the schlepping, right? So they're transplanting things, they're moving things, they're creating um, rows of plants, they're weeding them. They do all the basic work. We just provide a place for them to do that. Along with doing manual labor, the community helpers learn about and contribute to the research. Sam gives them plants of interest for free to plant at home, creating new habitat. And using a mobile app, they can make observations and share data back to the scientists. So um, it feels like we are walking the talk, right? Yes, we're developing all these techniques to study bees and to do a better job of conserving them, but we're actually engaged with the community. And these are um, everything from federal agencies down to individual homeowners to actually take some of the stuff that we have discovered and plant the native plants back out into these environments. But as of today, the only thing keeping the lab open is a court order preventing Doge from eliminating the USGS Ecosystems Mission Area. That's the division that oversees the Bee Lab and hundreds of other projects and labs. That protection's only temporary, though, so Sam has spent the past few weeks phasing out ongoing projects. He's giving away thousands of native plants that took thousands of hours to grow, long before they, and the scientific work that they represent, are allowed to blossom. For Science Update, I'm Bob Hershon.